a MoFlam gaffer from the U.S. Well, basically, I became friends with a guy who was a gaffer, and I, you know, at that point, I would take any job. That period of time, started working with Michael Bauhaus. The first film, he, it was actually not a film. It was a uh, TV movie for German television. Peter Lilienthal was the director, and it was very simple, you know, like very low budget, not many lights, you know. We just shot an apartment in New York, and, and it was like suddenly, this is me, like three years out of film school, I'm working with the cinematographer who did films that I kind of, idolized, admired, you know, that were, impressed me. I was the best boy at that time. And um, just evolved, and then I moved up to be gaffer. Michael had a very simple approach, you know, they would tell the story. Just very simple, very on location, very simple lighting. Bounce the light here and one light, so it wasn't like lighting every centimeter of, of the image. It was like more expressionistic, so stylized and, you know... By the stylization, it was more real because it wasn't lit. It wasn't like overly lit, flat. It didn't look like a studio. It looked like a location. So Michael just had that approach. And I was lucky right after Michael, kind of simultaneous with the end of my period with Michael, I worked with Haskell, Haskell Wexler, which is the same thing. Again, an idol of mine. And suddenly... I'm working with him as a peer. This guy has won two Academy Awards, you know, but in some ways Haskell never wants to come in like, I'm going to do this like I did the other film. It's a process of discovery. He almost is like somebody lost in the woods until he can kind of feel what this particular project has to be. It's finding that kind of like direction. He's discovering, but he he's like starting anew, and that was so inspiring to just like say we approach every film differently for me good lighting is lighting that you don't see maybe we'll enhance a story you know add a mood well, maybe we will make it more contrasty but we don't want you to draw attention to the lighting you know observation is the key to good lighting that basically you observe reality and you reproduce it, but you kind of enhance it, you get rid of the bad parts. But what I have to say is, you know, I have a long history with Ari. You know, I've worked with Ari and Ari people for 35 years, 37 years. So it's about a third of the history of the company. Part of it for me is uh, the people in Ari. I think in analyzing it, I think it is part of the DNA of the company is that it's amazing all the people that they get to work there, helping you create your dream, find the tool, you know, and helping you achieve what you're after. I want the best tools and Ari has been making the best tools, you know, and, you know, just because they are constantly evolving, innovating, listening, supporting, all those things, you know, it's just a whole combination of things because they're not trying to, I feel like they're not trying to sell me stuff. They're just presenting it and creating things that help our craft, you know, so.